Let's get started. So if we are multiplying polynomials by polynomials, you need to remember a few things. When you multiply a polynomial by a polynomial, you distribute each term from the first polynomial to every term in the second. This is called the extended distributive property. All the way out, both of them. Okay, so you'll notice here they did 2x times 3x and then 2x times 2. So everything from the first goes to everything in the second. So we don't have a monomial anymore. So now they're distributing the negative 4 to the 3x and the negative 4 to the 2. So do you guys see how they took everything that was separated by an addition or subtraction and gave it to everything in the second term here? So this 2x was the first one, went to both. The negative 4 is also in the first term, goes to both as well. So then they simplify. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. One second. Multiplication, add the exponents. When you combine like terms, keep them the same. 2x times 2 is 4x. Negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x. And negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Then they looked for their like terms. Do you guys see how these are like terms here? That is not what I wanted. So 4x minus 12x got them to negative 8x, and they wrote that in descending order. So look at that, because that's a little bit confusing. Do you understand what they did? Okay, so let's look at this together then here. So Emma, I'm going to have you help me with the first one here. Where does that x need to be distributed to? To the x and the 8. To the x and to the 8. So what is x times x? x to the second. So we do x times x, which is x to the second, plus what you said x times 8, right? Mm -hmm. Which is just 8x. Eight eight x. And then what else still needs to be distributed? The 2. The 2. The 2 needs to go to the? x and the 8. Perfect. So you have plus 2 times x, which is just 2x. What is 2 times 8? and 2 times 8, which is 16. So look at that there real quick. This is just what Emma told me to do. Do you see how she took everything from the first term? So she took the first term, gave it to everything in the second, took everything from the second, that second term, which is that first binomial, to the second binomial. Do you guys see that? Okay, so she combined those like terms. If she combined those like terms, what would it be, what would be 8x plus 2x? Riley, what's 8x plus 2x? 10x. Good. So that would be your final answer. So, Emma, does that make a little bit more sense now? Okay, so, Jana, let's have you try this one, okay? Look at number... Where are you going? I did not say you could go. Um, number two, Jana, what would you do first? Multiply x times 2x. And then you would do... Good. So what's x times 3x? Um, and what's x times 7? Okay, then what do you still have to do, Jana? And then multiply negative 3 times 3x and then negative 3 times 7. Do you have to show all this work? The answer is no. Um, I'm doing this to show you guys what the process is. I will not be doing this much more after these problems, okay? So what's negative 3 times 3x, Jana? Negative 2x. Negative 3 times 3? Oh. You forgot to multiply this first for me. A negative 9. There you go. I know where you got that from. Don't worry. Negative 3 times 7 is? Negative, negative 3 times 7. That would be negative. No, hold on. You're right, negative. Negative 4. Negative 3 times 7. You're multiplying it. Oh, negative 21. There you go. All right, so, and then that simplifies by combining like terms, so you get 3x squared. What did you say is in the middle there, Jana? Negative 2x. Minus 2x, minus 21. Mike, what's wrong? Then that's the fun. You just would, like, if those had canceled out, say these were both like 9x minus 9x, then it would just be 3x squared minus 21. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, who else seems like they're a little bit shaky and would like to try a problem for me? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Go ahead. Call it. I did number four. I kind of skipped. Okay, let's go to number four, and then we'll go back to number three. That's fine. But I don't so do you can after Colin does number four. Right. Okay, what do you do first? So first you distribute uh, the 3x into 3x. And you get? 9x. To the? To the second power. 
Second, remember they both have an exponent of one, so be careful there, okay? What else do you still have to do? Okay, and then you put in, let's see. Okay, then the three x goes into four. So what is that? It's twelve x. Okay, then what's the next thing you do? You put the negative four into the three x and get negative twelve x. And then the negative four into the positive four, which is negative sixteen. Wait, it's not positive 16. Negative and a positive is a... Yeah, I said negative. Oh, you did? Okay, sorry. So what are our like terms then? Uh, the 12 and the negative 12. Which becomes? Zero. So you just have 9x squared minus... 16. Yep. And we'll be talking about this in a week or so, but not even a week, probably about a week, but this is a difference of squares, and we'll talk about what that means in a little bit later. Okay, Connor, you said you want to do number three. You said three, but moving on. Go ahead. Uh, okay. um, so you distribute the 5x to the 2x and the 8. Good. So what's 5x times 2x? 9x. To the? Seven. Right. They both have an exponent of 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay. Then you do 5x to the 8, like you said. And what is that? Okay. What do I still have to do, Colin? Con <laughs> you fool. I'm <laughs> Gosh, I've been doing terrible lately. I was doing so good for the longest time, and then I just keep doing it again. Go ahead. Be careful, it's a negative 4, though. So negative. that is. You fool. Negative 8. Times okay, and then what do I still have to do? Uh, okay. So I combine my like terms, and what's in the middle there then? Con Connor, I almost did it again. Uh, NX, oh, you already did that. Uh, 30 plus 32X, and then minus 32. Good. So looking at that first page, what questions do you guys have so far? What questions do we have so far? If you're lost and confused in the wilderness somewhere, like you don't even feel like you're in this classroom, you should probably ask a question. Yeah, you know, I bet a lot of you do, but just if you don't feel like you're even with me, please just let me know. I know, that would probably mean you were hunting, right? Okay. Remember that an exponent means to list out the, out the expressions as many times as you see it. So, if it is Squared, that means you're going to list it out Why did I say twice. This really isn't hard. You just need to remember that. And that's the hard part about this, that you guys struggle with remembering those things. So this is actually 9 plus 3 times, also known as an n, n plus 3 times n plus 3. Where I got 9 from, I have no clue. That is not how it works. You are correct. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> That's how my alphabet works. Justin Powers, what do I do first? Your button doesn't work in your your button No, you distribute. Okay, what do we distribute? To what? Okay, so n times n is and squared, and then you said distribute that to the 3, and that is plus 3n. Okay, what do I still have to do? So continue your distributing, and 3 times 3 is 9. You were right. So, 2 and plus 9. Justin, what's my final answer then? Uh, n squared plus 6n plus 9. Perfect. Uh, here is smart cookie. Okay, so what do I need to do first, Brian, in that problem number 6? What do I need to do first? We need to list it out twice. So if I list it out twice, that's 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. Brian, what do I need to do next? What am I distributing? Times the, and that is, sorry,
hands are shaking. One minute, Brian. Freeze for a second. So you distribute the 2x to the 2x and the 2x to the negative 5 there. Are we doing okay? Okay. What? Are you okay now? I'm sorry, Brian. I see I Are you caught up? Yes, you are. Okay. Brian, go ahead. Be careful. A negative and a negative is a? Negative. Okay. So, what do you get as your final answer then, Brian? What? He literally grabbed it, looked at this, they didn't even pick it up, and then put it back down. What did you say? Yes. It's because I was looking at how many slides there were, so I was fine. I just looked to make sure there were no slides on the back, and there weren't, so I knew that there wasn't any on the back page. So I figured there wasn't eight slides today. No, I wasn't angry at all. All right. What questions do you guys have? Oh, why? Because it's being squared, and that means do it twice. I'll be thinking, like... Ready for these two? This one's going to make you really like me a lot right here. Okay. Jack, help me out with number seven. What do you think, Sherlock? Shut up. Sorry. Okay, E goes to? So E times E squared is E to the? Stop talking. I'm talking to Jack. Stop talking. Then you do E, distribute E to the, and that is, then I distribute E to, okay, now what do I have to do, Jeff? Okay, what do you get? Then what? Okay, continue to distribute. So you distribute the 4 to that, so that's 12e. Then what? Good. Yeah, I was trying to show you guys with my colors, like, what went with what. So I was hoping that, like, helps you out a little bit. Does that help? Yeah, a little bit. I figured it was better than one color and then you not knowing where anything comes from. So. Okay, guys. What are my like terms, Blaine? Give me some like terms. What else? Is there any other like terms? No. So, we drop down the E cube. Blaine, what is 3E e squared plus 4E e squared? Okay, what is negative 6e plus 12e? And then we just drop down the negative 24. Yeah, I thought there was a 60. Just one second. 6e, not 6d. Okay. Although, it sounds very similar. No, it just, it's just making sure you don't make little mistakes along the way that could cause, you know, problems later on. Which is what we all do. I mean, I'm the same way. No, I could technically just white it out, but it's not going to happen. Lexi, what do you do first? Guys, please focus, because we only have this problem and two more, and then we, you guys get your homework. So let's focus here. So Lexi, what are we going to do? The a to the second power to 3a to the second power, 2a to the negative 1. Okay, first tell me what a to the second power and 3a squared is. Uh, 3a, 3a to the fourth. Okay, and then you said give the, distribute the exponent to the 2a, and that is? 2a to the third. Okay, and then you said distribute that to the negative 1, and that is? Negative a squared. Perfect, Okay. So, she finished that first step out, but there's three terms in that first one, so she has to continue on. So, what is the next step, Lexi? Uh, 
distribute the negative 2a to uh, 3a squared. And that is? 6a squared uh, cubed. It's not positive, it's? Negative. Negative and a negative, or negative and a positive is a negative. Then what? I did, you're right. <laughs> okay, going on. Okay. Um, this should be the, the negative 2a to the 2a. And that is? 4a squared. But it's not? It's negative. There you go. Next one. Um, negative 2a to negative 1, which is positive 2a. Are we done yet? No. Okay, now what, Lexi? Yeah, we're going to mess it up. <laughs> so we three to 3a squared. Which is? 9a squared. And then? 3 to 2a is 6a. I don't know why there's so much talking going on. Please stop. Or 3. And then what? 3 to negative 1 is negative 3. No, I don't. It's okay. It's a lot of work. <laughs> okay, so we have an A cubed and an A cubed. An A squared and another A squared over here. Oh, and there's another A squared over there. And then we have 2a and 6a. Is there any other a's anywhere? No? Okay. So, those are all of our like pieces that we must combine now. So, 3a to the fourth does not have a like piece, so that drops down. 2a cubed minus 6a cubed is? Okay. Negative a squared minus 4a squared is? Negative 5a squared. Negative 5a squared plus 9a squared is? 4a squared. Why can't we watch the Flintstones? They don't teach us. Yabba dabba do. That's what you'd learn. Yeah, exactly. 2a plus 6a is? And we have minus 3 at the end. There are a lot of places you could make mistakes. So just be careful. When you multiply... Guys, I feel like I'm having to talk over you guys again. Please stop. I apologize. Stop talking. <laughs> Not you. You were fine. Um, okay. You've broken my heart. When we multiply, you add the exponents. When you add, you keep the exponents the same. You cannot forget that, all right? So on this here, you have all of the different area formulas. Remember that perimeter is add up all the sides. A circle has a circumference of pi times diameter. Um, yeah. But there's a pi button on your calculator. We'll just leave and we just leave that into in your calculator. Okay. Area if for a rectangle is base times height, triangle is one half base times height, a trapezoid, which I don't know if you guys know what a trapezoid or not is. It's a it's a trapezoid. That's a trapezoid. It's like the top. I always thought that was a hectic. Um and then a circle's area and the R stands for radius. So that's how you do those. Radius is half the diameter. We'll talk about that on this last problem. <laughs> Okay, so this says find the perimeter and area. So, the perimeter, let's start there. How do you find the perimeter of this? So, opposite sides of a rectangle are the same, so I'm going to add up all the sides. And then we're going to combine our like terms. So 
three x plus four x is seven x plus three x is ten x plus four x is five minus two is three plus five is eight minus two is six so our perimeter is 14 x plus six guys stop how do you find the area of a rectangle multiply multiply what so we multiply the base and the height so you just need one of them so that's 4x minus 2 times 3x plus 5 Okay, Josh, how do I multiply 4x minus 2 times 3x plus 5? What is 4x times 3x? To the? Right, they both have 1s on them. And then you said distribute it to the 5 as well, which is? Okay, what else do you still have to do? Which is negative two times three x is uh, negative uh, six. Six. What did you forget? Oh, x. And. And then the negative two from five is negative ten. Good. And then we just combine our like terms. So our area is twelve x squared plus four plus four plus fourteen x minus ten. I'll have one on that. Look, it's a face. All right. Questions on that one before we look at a circle? No. So don't forget the perimeter of a circle is pi times the diameter, and we will leave pi in our answer. You don't type 3.14 in our calculators. The area is pi r squared. We're going to be using those. Oh, So, the circumference is pi d. The diameter is the whole entire distance across the circle. So, if your radius is 2x minus 1, your diameter is going to be 2 times the radius, which is 4x minus 2. So, that's your diameter. Do you guys see that? You don't square it. Squaring it is different. That's just doubling it. Squaring, doubling it is different. Okay. We haven't found the area yet. We will when we find the area of this. Okay. So we do t pi times the diameter, which is 4 pi x. Minus 2 pi. Shh. I just distributed the pi through. I am not going to put 3.14 in my calculator. Leave it in your answer. So we're done. That's it. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm done with that part. I still have to find the area. Oh, forgot about that. The area is pi r squared. So we're not going to be using 4x minus 2. We're going to be using... 2x minus 1, and squaring it. What did we talk about? What did we talk about when you square something? What does that mean? It means list them out twice. Very good, Jordan. So I'm going to do this first, and I'm going to drop the pi down for later. 2x times 2x is? 4x. Wait. Whatever. You said it right the first time. Four minus two. It's 4x squared. Guys, stop telling me 4x. Those of you that are doing that are not listening. How many times have I told you that if there's no exponent, the exponent is 1? Well, Wait, exponent. 1 too many times. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. two. we got to be careful there. 2x times negative 1 is? Negative 1 times 2x is? <laughs> Negative 2x. 
Two x times negative one. Negative one times negative one is. Okay, so then I'm going to combine my like terms and then I'll distribute pi through. So I have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. And then you just distribute the pi through. So that's 4x squared, 4 pi x squared minus 4 pi x plus pi. You know pi is foot. Just treat pi like it's a variable. It is. True, but it's also a number. Why does it go before that? It doesn't matter.